Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Grabeagly with another episode of Gaming with Grabeagly and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over here on Itch.io. This is a game called Don't Look Away From The Colors and I honestly don't know very much about this game. The game page itself is pretty sparse but I guess this dev Adam Pipe, I'm guessing is how to say that last name, uh, did this under a self time constraint of like a game a month or something along those lines. So this game was made in one month. I'll have to go back through and see see all the other things that Adam worked on throughout the other months unless this is the first month I'm not exactly sure I haven't checked but anyway regardless apparently this is a puzzle platformer style game so that sounds like it's right up my alley uh, also it deals with colors for those of you who don't know I am colorblind so maybe this will be really tough for me we'll just have to go ahead and see all right getting started here Ooh. okay don't look away from the colors okay so I'm assuming oh oh my god okay uh at least not for too long. Okay, so this eyeball is where a cursor is. You can skip text with the right mouse button. Okay, just did that. Move with A W S. Okay, W S D. Oh, you can move. Okay. Oh, I, okay. I think I I have a knack for what's going on here. So I don't have to worry too much about colors because this looks like it's sort of like uh, grayscale-ish. Um, so anytime I move my eyeball off, it, what happens if I I just leave this off of? Oh my god, the, the music warps and oh, I like that it's like a slideshow, like an old school film or something. Okay, it just starts me at the beginning if I die like that. So if you look away for too long, nothing, it's not like a monster comes out and grabs you, which is really good. We just, okay, so we just have to whip our mouse around to the next, ah oh yeah. We have to move to change our perspective. There's an edge to a cliff right there. I gotta be careful of that, oh, okay. And then boom, okay, this isn't too bad. I'm someone who, uh, I play a lot of FPS games. I play a lot of first person shooters. So as a result, oh, I see what I gotta do. I just gotta follow this along. This is a cool thing. This is a great way to mess with perspective and stuff in a game. Ha! So as a result though, I, I whip my mouse around. Oh my God, ah, <laughs> quite a bit. But it seems like, okay, so when you're off of the color, what is that in the background? What the hell? There's so much going on in this game already right off the bat. And it's like a, a take your, time puzzler game exploration adventure game like there's no timer or anything but still I'm getting so distracted but uh, it seems like whenever you take your mouse off the colors it really messes not only does it shake the screen but it makes it so it's harder to move the mouse so that's uh, staring at the monolith is that this thing uh oh uh, I'm trying oh my god okay yeah I'm staring at it oh okay don't stare at the middle there I thought that was like the goal Apparently, we don't stare at that. Oh boy, world is getting a little bit claustrophobic and buzzy here for my tastes, personally. Do I just move towards it? I guess so, okay. Was that a good thing? Was that like the end of level one? It didn't give me any indication. Oh God, do we have moving parts? We do. So you can rotate your body so that you have, oh yeah, when you change perspective like that. Nice, okay, so yeah, whenever you take your mouse off of the colors here, it, it makes it feel like you're you're moving your mouse through some jello. It makes it makes it tough. Makes it a little bit hard to move. Oh god, this is what whatever the hell's happening here. I can't look at the ground, so I hope I don't fall off the edge of the world. Huh. Okay. Huh. Huh. Okay, so by platformer, not only are we physically moving our player through the world with WASD. Oh, oh, hidden around the corner. That was clever. That's cool. So you like from here it looks like where the hell do I go? But really if you just walk forward, you reveal a passageway. But it's also a platformer in the sense of our cursor itself is almost like the character that can't be in the lava for too long or he dies, he or she. Um, so uh, you have to, oh my God, you have to be really mindful of not only your positioning physically within the world, but your perspective as well. What angle you're looking at things, if you're even capable of looking at things. My God, when it starts shaking like that. Oh no, I see what I must do already. Okay, can I jump? No, no jumping. Okay, so if we turn around though, oh my God. We try, this is so precarious. Oh my God, this game's wild. This is so much different than what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna maybe be like a thriller style game where I have to like avoid a monster by looking at the colors or something. But no, it's a, it's a platformer 
with a lot of crazy puzzle elements. Okay, we moved, we moved, we moved, we went. We, okay, so we get over there. So we wanna turn around until the platform just gonna swing us around slowly. We're gonna get to the next one. This is a lot more challenging than I thought it was gonna be. This is wild, I really like this so far. Okay, move, move, move. All right, so we always have to make sure that our cursor is moving ahead of us. And then our body follows the cursor. Oh my god, our, it expects me to walk along this thing. Holy shit! Oh, oh wait, what? Oh, there's a platform? Okay, 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 all right. Uh, let it just take me up, it's an elevator. And just keep looking where I need to look. Oh, jeebus, Christmas. Well, that's a lot easier than walking along that, that tightrope like we're doing now. I thought we were gonna have to do that the whole way here. But I guess not. Oh, by the monolith, it speaks to me in tongues. Oh my god, shift to run. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to fall this all the way down. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, this is our only, this is our only safety. Ah! Gimme, give gimme, give let me look at you! No, I can't move my mouse fast enough! <laughs> Man, once you get off of an object that you're supposed to be looking at, it, it is really like molasses. It's insane. It's actually kind of horrible. Alright, well, let's get kind of like parallel with it this time. Okay, yeah, there we go. Oh, no. Oh, he, oh, he, ho, oh, oh. Okay. So, where'd the ball go, though? Oh, there it is. Okay. I was gonna say, it should have been circling the drain. Should have been going. Oh, God. No, I'm on top of it. No, I want to look at it, you, you motherfucker. motherfucker. No. <laughs> okay. This is, so this is level three. So, things are getting a little bit harder now. Things are getting a little bit more difficult. It's, uh... Slowly turning into a rage game and by slowly I mean pretty quickly honestly It's kind of turning into a rage game for me already. All right, that's fine. Oh, there's multiple balls. What the hell? They come in sets of two All right, uh This time I'm gonna let it go ahead of me a lot more. Okay. Oh It goes oh and the model is right there. Oh my god. Come on move my mouth. <laughs> I'm sitting here like cranking my mouse as hard as I can there. That's not the phrase that I wanted to use there But regardless, I'm trying to move my mouse as much as I can in those moments and and once you get off the colors again It's almost impossible not to Not to uh, look at the white Look at the the hard stuff there. Okay, uh move backwards. Move. Okay. 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 Okay Let's wait for another ball to come down. Okay. There it is. All right, and then follow that bad boy around, and then this time we're gonna actually want to get ahead of it a little bit. Yeah, stay in parallel. Oh, we got the strats. We got the good strats. We got the strats that work wonders. Oh, yes, Mr. Monolith. You didn't think that I was gonna find you again, but I did. Red sl Oh, red surfaces are slippery. All right, guys, this is gonna be me literally tapping my mouse. That is my hand. My hands off of it. That's crazy. So right. Oh boy. So m moving, moving on the red surface. No funsies. No funsies and deedsies. Okay. Oh boy. This is gonna make thing. Oh, this is gonna make everything so much worse. So this is the type of game where it really, in a very natural and difficult way, it really like increases the challenge for you. My God, this is insane. Really, really insane. Got to really whip the mouse to get to the good stuff. Man, whenever, whenever it warps the music, that prompt alone makes me panic mode immediately. Okay. Okay, we're going to keep it. Oh, this is... I have to walk across this stinking thing while I'm slipping back and forth like an idiot? Oh, my God. This is intense. All right. I love the idea of this game, though. This is a really cool idea for a puzzle game. It's just, oh boy, howdy. It's just real, real, real difficult. No, no, no. Oh, no, I fell off this stupid platform. Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it, I made it so far. I hadn't seen the exit yet, though, so I'm not entirely raged out of my mind. Just a little lot of it. <laughs> this is nuts. This is actually crazy. Okay, but it's a lot of fun. It's one of those types of challenges. You try it, and you're like, I need to beat this. This cannot be where I I end my adventure of life. Wait a second. I just noticed something. This bar up here, all the way. Is that just so it's architecturally okay? Or is that... Oh, I could use that pillar. I see. 
All right, so when I get on the, uh, <laughs> when I get onto the stupid moving platform, instead of looking at the dead center, I'm gonna look behind me at that black pillar. I'm gonna hope that it does me some good. I'm gonna hope that by following this along with my eyes, oh no, no! <laughs> Oh, that is so goddamn annoying. That is actually annoying. Uh, having to having to adjust your body in real time while things are moving around you. Oh boy, I'm just, you, you literally can't hold your hand steady on the red. That's nuts. You cannot hold your hand steady. Okay. You have to be physically aware of where your body is at the same time as you're moving your mouse that's that's crazy this i hope this makes me better at first person games though i hope that this provides me with the type of oh boy oh uh, the type of skills that i might need to someday pay those bills that everyone always talks about okay so this time okay ah uh, stop Stop. Just let me be a normal person, please, for one goddamn second. Oh, this is actual. This is driving me nuts. This is actually hard. Oh, my God. We made it across the damn platform. We made it across the goddamn platform that was spinning. Oh, 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 yes. My sweet, 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 not red stuff. Good times. Good, good, good times. All right, so I know what to do here. Yeah, we peek around the corner like that. Again, using perspective to our advantage. So we move towards the monolith. Is this the final one? Because that level was... Holy crap, that was hard. What is the point of the monolith? What truce does it bring to me? Besides the fact that I'm... Oh, I'm going to rage. Time to get off. What? That's inappropriate. Listen, actually, that's fine now. Now that Kappa doesn't like family-friendly entertainment, I'm allowed to have that joke in this video. <laughs> oh boy oh my oh we can look at the uh environment outside i see ha! okay ha! okay nice moving moving to the next train car oh jesus oh my oh my let's look at where we are just to just to double check that we're not missing anything and we're not messing ourselves up too much here Okay, are we all lined up good? All right, I'm gonna say go! Ha! Oh, we did it. Okay, we did it, we did it, we did it. Everything's okay. What's this one for? This is gonna lead me to my destiny. This is the path of destiny. This is the all-seeing eye of good. Ooh, it's the monolith, hello! I almost looked into the part with no color. Amazing. Holy cow. Oh. Okay, that was abrupt. <laughs> oh, it keeps track of your time. It actually tells me how long it took me how many failures I had over and over again, basically. Holy crap. Okay, I, I bet there's some speedrunners out there who can whip through this game super quick, who have, like, insane fine motor tuning with their hand. They're really, really good at that. They have, like, super high dexterity stat. But anyway, that was Don't Look Away From The Colors. I think I'm getting that name right. What a frustrating but really cool mechanic. I like this game a lot. Really neat. Definitely uh, changed up sort of like how you look at a puzzle platformer. I enjoyed this quite a bit. It was like an inverse Slenderman. You know, you had to look at it. You didn't want to look away. But hopefully you guys can give this one a try as well. If you want to, of course. Some of you probably don't like these types of games. But I'll leave a link down below in the description like I normally do. So you can download it for free from over on Itch.io. Let me know down below in the comments if you try this out and uh, what your time was. Because 12.53, I'm not feeling like that's too good. But at the same time, I only like died a few times. Regardless, anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed watching me play this game. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye bye. Sir,